Hi everybody, it's Gary and Luby and today's video we are going to be doing holiday hacks So we've got a list here of hacks that I've used in the past because I've done a lot of caravanning holiday whilst Gary's done a lot of uh, broad holidays Yeah Is before booking a holiday Right, the first one is to look on TripAdvisor with any site, any caravan holiday or holidays generally TripAdvisor is very useful as it gives you a, you know, a decent amount of reviews. Um, always judge, you know, read the reviews first because some of the reviews are just petty or just poorly written. Um, they give you a good estimate of what the resort is like, then they are worth listening to. Um, it's just a handy tool to have. It's just useful and. Um, yeah, so if you're going to book any holidays, make sure you do your research before you plan ahead, which I'm sure a lot of people already do. Yeah. How many year you yeah. go as well? I mean, some months it is going to be crowded because it is going to be busier. Summer months are always busier. If you go later in the year, yeah. it's obviously going to be a bit quieter. Yeah, because when it's September, one time it was so quiet. It, it was, was like nice. the best time to go. <laughs> it was wonderful. Yeah, it was. Moving on. Uh, this one, what's, what I like to do is check out the area you're going to. So check out if there's any like parks for like the children, if they want to go to like a amusement park or anything. Any zoos? Um, yeah. Um, I'll put that up. Beaches. Yeah, um, shops. People like to shop on holiday. Yeah, the shops. Oh, supermarkets. Yeah. Make sure there's a nearest supermarket in case you run out of anything. <laughs> yeah. So print out anything or screenshot it into your phone and have it like in a special file uh, for this saying for holidays so you know. We also like to do it when we go to a sea life centre, have the price of what it is, isn't it? Where it is, what's there and everything. So basically we like have a big file of stuff of what there is because I mean my phone likes to take up too much data these days. I like to be prepared. Yes, I like to be prepared. I'm always a prepared person, organised with stuff. So, yes. Yeah. So, we don't know if this one's really a big hack, but we like to say um, it is. have a map. Something that people don't seem to think so much these days. We rely too much on uh, sat navs. I mean, <laughs> you know, they're useful. But, oh, they is. But they do have a habit of, um, you know, taking mm. a longer route. And, cutting uh, out, cutting out, yeah, or giving giving the wrong directions. Sometimes they do that. Yeah. If you have an actual map, you know, it's just it's yeah. just useful to have it. You we know. tend to print one out. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, this is important if you don't have a sat nav uh, and you're using your map print out or whatever. Print out about five miles near to the caravan site because not all caravan sites are sand posted oh cash. yeah cash uh i know this one because of my travels uh have about 20 to 50 pound in cash even a hundred if you need to it's this always is because oh sorry go on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go on. um it's always important to know that not every place i'm sure people already know but People are just so used to using cars, they expect every single place they go to to have a car machine, of course. Yeah. There are still places that don't have car machines and do only take cash, so just have a small, substantial sum with you just to be prepared. Yeah, because um, like some of the service stations, they don't have good internet where they are. Hmm. So the, I don't know if the, uh, a thing's always internet, but they've always said that the card machines aren't working. You've got to use cash. Yeah, that's a... Just, um, you just never know yeah. if technology is going to play up. So you have to then get it out. <laughs> yeah, Too I much. mean, one seventy-five to go to the cash machine to get it out. I say it's the charges as well. That's yeah. the thing is, you know, you get charged to use them in certain places, and if you have the cash with you, you just save yourself a bit of money. Yeah. Also, what to do is if you have some money bags, um, and you're going on toll bridges, just fill them up. So say like seven pound for this for going there seven pound coming back put it in a safe place uh, so you know where it is uh, luckily ours is only like 150 so we can just put 150 in the bag for going and coming back uh, so you have that extra money 
when you come back home because you probably spent like literally like 400 on holiday and you're like oh my word I ain't got seven pound to go back over the bridge you have if you've pre put it in the car beforehand mm. um, just have a bit of loose change in your yeah. car just make sure it's well hidden as well yeah um, if you do book a holiday um, it's always good mm. to try and get there earlier because if you go if you get there sort of four or five you've got the traffic you know yeah it can be very crowded because and there's parking yeah parking in some caravan sites is really hard me yeah, and mum went to um, one it was so awful it's amazing how some places just don't have hardly any spaces you have to just like, drive around for ages trying to find somewhere decent to park so and of course you've just so driven familiar. four hours and you're like yeah, i really you want, want to get stop into and get the out, caravan get some air yeah so um so, yeah it's always a good thing to um to try and get there early because you know it just saves you time it gives you more time on the site to mm. get in and get sorted and if you want to quickly find a supermarket yeah so yeah the sooner you check in the sooner you can just start your holiday yeah also um most caravan sites are now saying you can go in at one o'clock or two maybe three um, but of course if you live so far away from where you're having to go so you're having to go like at four because you can't get there for one because you're going to have to travel at night then that's fine just remember oh hello just remember the um a lot of people might be there so you might have to queue up for a long time it can be chaotic and everything but it does vary on how people are at the park so now we're on to packing hacks so the first one is one we always have handy first aid kit yes now if i just give you that sheet so this is my first aid kit that stays in the car in this we change it every few months just to check if things fine we've got handheld wipes just in case uh, we need them we've actually got two of them I've even got um, some cough medicine because right now I've got a bit of a chesty cough uh, so I have that but that generally does not go in it's only going in because of this holiday and because of the cough uh, I have back problems so I always tend to need my heat wraps just and then the rest of the first aid kit that you generally get in the actual first aid kit Plasters? Yeah, that's in <laughs> there <laughs> Plasters, tablets, two different types of tablets, paracetamols, I mean uh, Gary likes these ones, I like the dissolvable ones It's amazing how many people don't take first aid kits as well Yeah. Oh, we actually got these from a charity shop that we were giving them uh, that's always handy to put in the first aid kit, but we do have the actual big one uh, put away. Um, I have something else. Oh, the cleansing wipes. Always have enough of these, but I also, like I say, like these ones as well. So yeah, that's my first aid kit. Ooh. Um, this is another one. It's uh, don't take so much with you because mm. um, when you go away. Depending on where you go, of course. Yeah. Um, when we go to a lot of places, we end up buying gifts because that's what you do when you're on holiday. You you buy gifts for family and friends and for yourself. Yeah, because <laughs> you don't find it where you are. Yeah, so um, we haven't found a lot of stuff, have we? What you've no. bought. No. So if you do um, go away, just make sure you've got enough room to store everything because there's nothing worse than trying to find room for more bags of uh, items so if you just pack maybe just pack the essentials don't overdo it with the clothes um, and the food. food yeah uh, so just you know just be careful well just be cautious be cautious mm. yeah take our food so we just said about that one um now this is like all different isn't it? it's all mm. all weird because we're not well, it, sure it saves you money doesn't it it saves well. you money because on site the supermarkets on site are a lot more are they mm. they could be about 50 percent more in some cases or 20 percent more this would cost you five pound from there on site 
that cost me two pound. So just be careful. Well, just shop around as well. Yeah, so if, you can. if there's other shops, long. have a look around. Yeah. Try to save yourself a bit of money that way. Mm, but if you don't have a car, like our friends didn't, they had to shop on site. Well, yeah. If, um, if that you haven't got a vehicle, hard. then you have to just shop where you can. But um, yeah. if you haven't got a vehicle, then you know. I know it costs a bit extra in petrol, but if you have to go a bit further to get something cheaper, then mm. you are saving a bit of money. Also, that way, if you uh, if you haven't got a vehicle like they did, and take a lot of food with you, mm. that way it'd be better. But this is if you. It all depends driving. on how many of you go as well. If mm. you got a lot of you there, it's again, it's just making sure you've got enough, but not too much. Yeah. But um. But yeah. Um, next one. Uh, that one. So, um, this is one people probably don't think of very often. Is <laughs> making sure you you pack everything um, in advance. Yeah, in advance, and yeah. make sure you've got enough room for all the stuff you're going to bring back if you do buy things. Um, enough room for yourself as well. Yeah, make sure there's enough room for everybody. <laughs> Nothing worse than this. Everything's Being packed and you can't like get in. Yeah, <laughs> if you've got kids, if you've got little ones to think about, yeah, make sure there's enough room for them to crawl around the back. <laughs> yeah, like, Mum, I need the sweets. <laughs> Reaching over there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. There's, there's that. I mean, again, it's just common sense, but I know what people like. They tend to rush. They don't. Yeah, I always say plan. pack before or get up early, then pack. Then that way it's much easier. Do it the night before, and then yeah. you, all you got to do is get your, your last bit of essentials and just go and just drive, drive straight off. Yeah. Also, this has always been handy when I've gone with my family. Have a swimming bag uh, at hand. Uh, this is because if you are not able to get in till four and you've got there about two, go swimming. Yeah. Ask, ask the company if you can go swimming. Use the pass that you should be given. Uh, it's good way to kill the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, we've done this a number of times. What well, we haven't, but me and my mum did. We always went swimming. Uh, and that helped out so much. It stopped mm. us being really bored. I mean, a few times we did end up at somewhere very, very early. And, um, yeah, we went swimming for quite a lot and played in the amusement. Uh, uh, I'll I'll put these two together. So, so toilet swipes. Um, yeah, when people go away, they expect caravans to be hotels. No, they're not. With this, you need to take uh, toilet rolls, soap, shampoos, towels. Now, with towels, we always take one each for swimming one each for the caravan when we go into the shower a hand towel for the bathroom depending on how many bathrooms you've got so maybe there's two a bathrooms for yeah and a towel for the kitchen a tea towel of course you only need one of them and well oh washing up liquid and travel liquid because some of them do actually have some washing stuff, but not, not yeah, many do they? A laundrette, so these are yeah. our handy little kits. These ones are from, uh, I've got upside down. <laughs> uh, this one was actually from Pound Stretchers for 19p. Right, so we're on car hacks now. Ah, oh, yes, car hacks. Everyone knows this. Most important thing check the tyres. And you've got enough petrol in. And make sure, well, screen wash. It might be nice to get gay car serviced. You go away. Yeah, you could do. Cause just I make sure just okay. A month before. Yeah. So that way, it's like a place everything is set enough where you're going. So say like you're at the caravan site, you need to go from the caravan site to like amusement park. All you need to do is favourites done, gone, and you need to put it in whilst you're at home. Scan everything in. Scan. <laughs> type everything. Type everything in. in. Yeah. Favourite. You don't. Don't got scanning standards yet. You might do one day. Beep beep. <laughs> Or even do it in your phone, depending yeah. on what you need. But map, map one you can circle things. But yeah, you know what I mean. If we're trying to explain that, <laughs> hope you understand it. Uh, them two are together. So make sure you have a sick bag with you, just in case those of you don't 
handle long distances in a car very well. And have a knot at the bottom. Or tablets. Travel tablets are always good. Yeah, bands. But I always have to have a travel bag, thick bag with me, baby wipes, water bottle, anything like like ice pack, wrapped in a flannel just to put on my head. Just have like an emergency kit of everything. Yeah, emergency kit. In case you're stuck sickness. in traffic or your car breaks down or something else comes along. And you're prepared. It's always best to be prepared. You can never be too prepared for any journey. No, you can't. Even if it's a short journey. Yes. Yeah. Anything can happen. Hmm. Not to trying to make people paranoid. But. <laughs> and um, freezer bags. Oh yeah, this one was what I was putting down. A freezer bag or a freezer cool box. Um, this is to have like a mini picnic in the car. This is because we always did this one. My grandma always made salmon sandwiches for me, granddad, I think her. I think it was for all of them. Also, if you're travelling in the heat yeah. as well and you, it's hot and stuffy in the car, I know you can get air conditioning, but some vehicles, even if the air conditioning's on, it doesn't always cool the the car mm. inside. So if you get a cold a cool box with cold drinks... Yeah, like freeze, yeah. freeze your drinks before you go. We've done that. We've got drinks that are in there. Seriously, I think... They will freeze by time, but I mean they'll freeze by time we come home. Mm. Uh, put them in the box, then you've got enough cool stuff there, forehead, drink, whatever. Yes, safe. And especially in this hot weather right now we're having. <laughs> well, it's, be fun. it's cool. Well, today. today is cooler. Yeah, but, thank God. But the other times, those things will be needed for the car. Yeah. Also sunglasses. Sun hat. Please, everyone wear sun hats. Yeah, amount of people you see that don't wear sun hats. I yeah. Mean, why? Yeah, because everyone's like squinting like this <laughs> and doing that. I mean, I did that the other day because I actually lost my hat. They're trying to tan their heads. Yeah. Because, I mean, come on, eye strain. Mm. Uh, your buns well, feel stroke. so hot. Yeah. Sun stroke. It's dangerous. Yeah, so know. have a hat on. Even for the young children. Yeah. Even if the sun's not technically out. I mean, come on, I got sunburn in April You're when I was young. protecting your eyes young. as well as your head. Yeah. So, you don't want to damage your eyes yeah. I mean but April I got sunburned mm. and I was really young I mean and that's why I'm always covered head to toe with hat sunglasses cream because literally I don't want to burn again no thank no. you there's nothing and worse than sunburn it's me. just ugh, horrible you can't when you get sunburned anywhere it feels like you can't do anything you can't sit down properly you can't move properly yeah so you can't lie in the bed properly I mean who wants that yeah, so I was just, just be prepared. I may, it may not look cool, but you're saving your health. What's more important, looking cool or your health? Health. Mm. Some people say cool, but they're idiots. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have a playlist handy, yeah. or uh, if you've got the screen thing, have the discs that you want. Uh, this way it'd be ha uh, easier. Again, if you get stranded in traffic or you've got a long journey, music's always a good way to kill the time if you travel. Yeah. Also on holidays in certain ones, uh, you can always hire wheelchairs out, cots, and a high chair. I forgot to say that as well. There's also the little push bikes you can use oh, to yeah, get around, push bikes the, around the campsite. We never use them, but we have, to try. We, 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 we have to try. Yeah. So yeah. So if you like the video, give it give a, a thumbs up, uh, and we'll see you in another video, depending on what that is. Bye. Bye.